My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is 21st of June, Thursday. The gospel today is St. Matthew chapter 6, verses 7 to 15. And also today is the feast of St. Elisha of Sagamsaka. Let us remember the congregation of St. Aloysius. And the today meditation points or reflection is, your heavenly Father knows what you need. This is the topic of uh, today gospel, or the point to be reflected. So my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us thank God for the new day again. So let us start with the first point, which is let God's voice guide and shape the way you judge and act. Let the word God God guide and shape our way and our action. Actually, God wants His Word to guide and shape the way we think, the way we act, and the way we pray. St. Ambrose, an early church father and bishop of Milan, wrote that the reason we should devote time for reading Scripture is to hear Christ speak to us. So that is a question we should ask ourselves. Are you not occupied with Christ? Another question is, why do you not talk with Him? So my dear brothers and sisters, by reading the scriptures, we listen to Jesus Christ. Our present Pope Francis just recently reminds us to read the gospel, to read the scriptures, to keep small scripture books in our pocket, to carry along with us wherever we go. So when we have time to take out and read for two minutes and reflect on it every now and then daily, so that we will be enriched by the scriptures. This is the encouragement by Holy Father Pope Francis. My dear brothers and sisters, we can approach God our Father with confidence. This is the second point for reflection. We can approach God confidently because He is waiting with arms wide open to receive His prodigal sons and daughters, you and me. That is why Jesus gave His disciples the perfect prayer that dares to call God our Father. This prayer teaches us how to ask God for the things we really need, the things that matter not only for the present, but for eternity as well. We can approach God our Father with confidence and boldness, because the Lord Jesus has opened the way to heaven for us through his death and resurrection. When we ask God for help, he fortunately does not give us what we deserve. <clears throat> Instead, God responds with grace, mercy, and loving kindness. He is good and forgiving towards us, 
and he expects us to treat our neighbor the same, to go, to be good to our neighbors, and to forgive our neighbors, and to love our neighbors. God has poured His love into our hearts through the gift of the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. We see in Romans chapter five, verse five, and that love is like a refining fire. It purifies and burns away all prejudice, all hatred and resentment, vengeance and bitterness, until there is nothing left but goodness and forgiveness towards. Those who cause us grief or harm, my dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord, and uh, let us be serious when we pray our Father. I would like to suggest you to pray our Father every now and then with a deep reflection. So let us pray, Father in heaven, you have given me a mind to know you, a will to serve you, and a heart to love you. Give me today the grace and strength to embrace your holy will and fill my heart and my mind with your truth and love, that all my intentions and actions may be pleasing to you. Help me to be kind and forgiving towards my neighbors, as you have been towards me. Amen. May God bless you always.